snug between the curved, slim bezels is an LG made pole display that pushes a QHD plus 2880 by 1440 resolution with the aforementioned 18 to 9 display. On first glance, we noticed that its color profile isn't as strikingly vibrant as we found on the original Google Pixel XL, but it seems to strive for better contrast and color accuracy, deeper blacks, and as a result might be a smidge more efficient. One of the big problems is the viewing angles though. Turn the phone even slightly side to side and you'll see things get really dull in both brightness and color. It's a definite downside compared to last year's Samsung made displays in the original Pixel handsets. Whether there's a polarizer, glass treatment or just less impressive production, the screen has taken a backward step over last year's Pixel XL. Image 1 of 3 Android Oreo on the Pixel 2 XL hides a display setting to activate vivid colors which actually does amp up the saturation just a bit on colorful graphics and photos games and videos, but you're not likely to notice a huge difference. If you're stuck deciding between the 5-inch Google Pixel 2 and the 6-inch Pixel 2 XL, screen size obviously comes into play, but so does screen quality. While both are plenty crisp at 441p pixels per inch, and 538p for the Pixel 2 and 2 XL respectively, the resolution differs quite a bit. Compared to 1080p on the smaller option, this year's XL provides QHD+, which makes this the ideal option if you find yourself watching lots of movies and hopping into the Google Daydream View 2017 for some virtual reality enjoyment. If you like, you can and should switch on the now playing feature that listens in on music playing out and about and shows the song title on the bottom of the display. Google says it does this locally without sending your data to its servers, and in our experience, it works like a charm. It's one of those special touches that makes stock Android feel fresher than ever.